Hello friends, welcome to Internet Works. My name is Sergey C. Francis. In this video, we are going to see how to configure VTP version 3. As you can see the topology here, here we have the trunks. This is our the goals. The first we configure the trunk. After that, we configure the VTP domain. The name will be Internet Works. After that, we configure the version which we are using version 3. And the password will be CCI123. After that, we hide that password and we configure the primary server for VLAN this switch layer 3 switch 1 and then we configure VLAN 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90 on layer 3 switch and we'll make sure that the rest of the domain switches synchronize this information after that we configure the extended range of VLAN VLAN 2000 to 2001 on this switch layer 3 switch 1 and we will also make sure that this information is also going to synchronize in the domain or rest of the switches after that we configure the mstp on um, this uh, layer 3 switch 2 and you make sure that the rest of the switches will synchronize this mst uh, information too so let's get started so this is uh, the switch one this switch we are going taking the range of the uh, ethernet ethernet 0 slash 0 to 0 slash 2 where we have Three interfaces. Okay, so we'll configure terminal and then interface range. We can have zero slash zero to zero slash two. Okay, switch port um, trunk encapsulation dot one three and switch port mode trunk. And also we are going to allow all the VLANs. So switch port trunk allowed uh, VLAN all. You already know how to configure the trunk, so I will need to pause this. Okay, so now we are going to configure the trunk on this switch, and this switch will auto automatically um, become the trunks in the course of the negotiation process. So this is our uh, three switch two. Okay, we are also we configure the trunk. So we are taking the range interface strings and the Ethernet 0 slash 0 to 0 slash 2 okay. switch port trunk encapsulation dot one two and switch port port trunk switch port uh, trunk allow VLAN all ok so as of now we have uh, successfully configured the trunks let's see how it looks like show interface uh, trunk you can see uh, switch layer 3 switch 1 which is this switch having the three trunk links which is Ethernet 0 slash 0, 0 slash 1 and 0 slash 2 and then calculation is H02.12 okay. same way we see on the switch 2 show interface uh, 1 and also okay so everything looks good let me see here also uh, just to This uh, one you will see here that this is the switch is also become the trunk and because of the negotiation process. You see the N, you will not see N here. So, so now we are going to focus on these two switches only. So, far. so now we are going to um, configure the VTP domain on the switch one and VTP uh, domain. Name will be internet works. See, we have the message. The name, the VTP domain name, changed to internet works. Before it was null. Okay. Nothing was there. Uh, and then we configure the version. So VTP version three. And also we configure the password. You will see the old version was two. Now the new version is version three. Yeah. File will be written in the future. Hmm. So now we configure the password. So VTP password, which is uh, CCI one two three. You can see 
the password is setting a device VTP password to 123, CCI 123. Same way we configure here also. First uh, VTP, uh, go home. Okay. You can see the domain is already set to internet networks uh, because this uh, this become the server automatically. If you show VTP status, you can see here become the server. So okay. Moment. Now the version we are using the version is uh, three. Which version is three? Okay, now you will see here the the older version was two. Now the new version is version three. Okay. Also, we are going to uh, configure the password, which is uh, VTP and password is uh, CCI one two three. Setting up the VTP password. Now you will see if uh, if anyone want if anyone want to uh, see the password, just type the show VTP password, and you will see the password here. It's uh, very simple, huh? So and also show VTP password. You will see the password here. So we need to hide this uh, password. Okay. So the terminals and the VTP um, password, which is CCI uh, 123. Here, we, uh, here you will see the two options. One is secret and one is hidden. Let me show you. You will see this is hidden and secret. We are using the hidden. Okay. So just setting the device VTP password and switch to also VTP password and the password is CCI 123 and hidden. Right. Now when we try to see the password, that will show VTP password. You will not see the password here. You can see the password is not uh, visible here. Uh, before we configure this, you can see the password here, you can see here, the VGP password, CCI123, but now, after we uh, configure the hidden command, the password is hidden, okay, the same way, I'll switch to your VGP uh, password, you will not find the password, because the password is hidden, so now we are going to configure the uh, primary server on VLAN. This this switch the switch one okay. So first, uh, let's see the status. So show VTP status. You will see here the the running version is three. The name of the domain is Internet Nerds, and the operating mode is server. So. And uh, on switch to, and also show VTP uh, status. This, the same configuration you will see here also. Version is three. Domain name is uh, Internet Works here, and uh, it's also operating as a server. So now make this switch uh, it's a server VTP primary VLAN. Okay, we are making uh, layer 3 switch 1 is a primary server VLAN. Okay, you will see this system is becoming the primary server for the future VLAN. Enter the VTP password. The password is CCIE123. It will take a few seconds and we, are, we will log in. And see, we successfully log in. You see, no conflict VTP three device found. Do you want to continue? Yes. Okay. 
You see the message here becoming the server, primary server. Okay. So now let's see on how it's look. Show which it is status. You will see here now it's a primary server. ETP operating mode is primary server. See, uh, before it just a server, not a primary. Now it's a primary server. Okay, now let's configure some VLANs um, just to make sure it's not properly. So VLAN uh, 10, 20, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, and 90. Okay. So we have successfully configured the VLAN 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. Let's see how it looks like. Show uh, VLAN. You will see here on the active VLANs here. 90, 80, 70, 60, 50, 40, 30, 20, 10. Okay. Now let's see what's this allowed on the trunk. Let's show interface uh, trunk. You will see all the VLANs are allowed on these trunk things. Okay. So now we have successfully configured the primary server on this VLAN and we configure the VLAN uh, 10, 20, 30, 40 and we will. We have to make sure that the uh, rest of the domain switch synchronize this information. So let's see on switch to switch to synchronizing this information or not. Okay, show uh, show VLAN three. You see, switch two is successfully synchronized this information. Yeah. Okay. So now the the next uh, task is to configure the extended range VLAN uh, 200 to VLAN 2000 and 2001 or layer 3 switch 1 which is this and make sure the rest of the domain switch switch synchronize this information okay so let's go on switch 1 and here we type the uh, uh, VLAN 2000 2002, 2001. Let's see. And let's show VLAN read. You will see the extended range of VLAN here, which is the, here. You will see VLAN 2000 and VLAN 2001. Let's see if the switch to synchronize this information or not. Before there is no VLAN here. Now let's see the same command. Now you will see there is the active VLAN, two active VLANs, which is the standard range 2000 and 2001. Okay. So as of now, we have successfully configured all the tasks. Uh, there is uh, one more task is remaining, which is uh, configure the MST on layer 3, switch 2. Now we are going to focus on the switch 2 and make sure the rest of the switches will synchronize this information. Okay. So let's go on switch to here okay. and first uh, configuration on terminal and the VTP mode and server for MST. Let's we will see here the MST. So MST setting the device to the to VTP server mode for MST. Okay. Now exit and here VTP primary MST and the password the password is CCI123. Give a few seconds. Now you see no conflicting VTP3 device found. We want to continue, yes. Okay. So now, to configuration terminal, here we have to 
some command spanning tree uh, MST configuration okay the name will be internet works internet works okay the revision number uh, will be one okay number one and we are creating the two three instance okay so the first instance was will be one uh, and for we then uh, 30 and those 40 and uh, another instance for will be two for VLAN 50 and VLAN 60 and one more VLAN one more instance which is uh, three and for VLAN 70 and 80 okay good now our task is to make sure the rest of the switches synchronize this information okay let's see switch one will synchronize this this information or not okay so let's go on switch one and here we type show vtp status okay. here you will see it's a primary name is internet works We have to move to configure this. So here we need to configure this VTP um, mode client for MST. Okay, you will see here the MST. Okay, so MST. Okay. Let's put the end command and here we write show vtp status now you will see vtp operating mode is client okay for feature mst for the mst it's a client and feature for vlan it's a primary server okay so let's see it synchronize the information or not okay so show Spanning tree uh, MST configurations. This command will give you the result. You can see the Swiss one synchronized this information here. The first instance was 3040, second instance was 5060, and third instance for VLAN 70 and 80. The revision number and the name is Internet Works. You can see. So I hope you like this video. If you like, please uh, give a thumbs up and thank you so much uh, for watching this video. Thank you so much.